We've been in this house 57 years. He carried me over the threshold. This was supposed to be our starter. Well, it's going to be our finisher. My name is Shirley Duma, and I'm 76 years old. And I've had, I don't know how many types of cancer, but this one was a bad one. The very first, I was 39 years old, and I had a mastectomy with chemo. I did pretty well till seven, eight years ago. That's when they found ovarian cancer. I had my second breast removed. I had my kidney removed. Just a few months later, they found bladder cancer. The doctor said, that spreads. And it did spread. It was in my lung and in my, just all over. When they told me I just had six to eight months to live, and I felt so bad, and I looked so bad, and I thought, what am I gonna do with all my things? So I start giving them to my friends. I'm Judy Borowski. I've been married 45 years to my wonderful husband, Joe, who happens to be Shirley's cousin. I had never known anyone to go into a study as this. So I said, let's go down, just, just listen to them and hear what they have to say and what they expect and what you have to do to get into the study. There are no proven standard treatment options for her at this present time for metastatic bladder cancer that has failed chemotherapy. So at that time we had this particular immunotherapy study open, which is a PD-1 in antibody study. My son was after me, Mom, you've got to try everything. So I tried it, because I never heard of Im immunotherapy. So I thought, well, if I can help other people, well, great. She drives me every time. She sits there with me. Oh, she's my friend. That's what friends do for each other. I get my infusion, then we go out to eat. I would never go through chemo again. I've been through it three times, never again, because this is just a walk in a park compared to the regular chemo. Her hair wasn't falling out, her energy wasn't zapped. What a difference. All my friends are, oh wow, Cheryl, you look so good. You don't even look sick. You don't look like you have cancer. Her cancer has not only has it slowed down, but it actually has been responding with uh, excellent results. And when she came in smiling after the first CAT scan, after she had had her three treatments, we knew it was a go. That feeling you get when you go into a patient's room and are able to share that there is so much hope, they are doing well. So that is the best feeling in the world and I'm hoping that uh, we continue to get more and more of it. We need more studies like this for the different types of cancer. Mm -hmm. I think for the first time in a lot of these cancers, we have the hope of actually getting people in what I can dare to call a cure in metastatic solid tumors. And I keep telling my patients that the only way to do that, that we're going to make any progress, is through clinical trials. We want to get the word out through the Cancer Research Institute. There you go. Immunotherapy is a good thing. That's and it. We hope there's more of it and maybe one day eradicate cancer altogether. My regular doctor said, I, I kid with him now, I says, you thought I would be gone. He says, I didn't think, I knew you would be gone. He calls me the bionic woman. So this is all through immunotherapy.